Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today I'm going to do a demo of Luna Astrology Software. I love Luna. I will keep saying that. Um, I completely I met the developer Kevin at ESAR last year and I completely fangirled. Um, <laughs> I really love, I love it. They have the best user experience ever of all of most software I've used. Um, so my background is in finance, but I, my, I started working in like data visualization. I really loved, um, <laughs> loved um, creating something beautiful <laughs> out of just data and like what would be seen as boring, something boring. I like to funnel it and to make it acceptable and, and palatable and consumable to people. So that's something I'm passionate about. I'm very passionate about, you know, the user experience for people. Um, when I saw Luna, I was just so impressed with the way the interactivity and, and just kind of like the aesthetics of it and how it made me feel like it's really weird. Like the actual software makes me feel really good. So, um, I'm going to go through the demo with you guys, but um, before I get started, I did reach out to Luna so that I can be a partner and bestow a discount upon my viewers. So, um, in the link down below, um, I have a link down below that provides 10% off of their monthly and annual subscriptions. Um, the best thing about Luna is that you can do a monthly um, subscription. So especially if you're a newer astrologer and you're, you know, just a, a developing astrologer, it's not a huge financial commitment. Um, I believe, I mean, I'm, you, I still use it. So it's not something you can like, you have to like level out of, you know, I, I think, I mean, I use it and I'll probably use it forever, especially with my readings and my clients. Um, and I'll tell you, obviously the demo will show you all the features and why it's so great. So, um, again, if you're interested and you're on the market for a new software or astrology software, go down below. There's a link. Get your 10% off. Get your 10% off. Okay. Let's get into this demo. Okay. So when you sign into Luna, this is the first screen you're going to get. You're going to get this, the view of transit chart for this specific time at the specific location that I'm in. I'm not in Albuquerque, New Mexico though, because I'm just not trying to tell you where I live. So I put it in the same time zone. <laughs> so that's, I have it. I have it defaulted to that. The first thing I would, I'm going to show you is the interactivity. So when you click any, you can click any planet on the chart, any point of interest even. Um, and once you click it once, it'll show you all the aspects like that. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to like think, hmm, you know, count how many orbs, da, 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 da. don't worry about it. You're going to set the orbs in the back and then it's done. The fact that you have this feature of being able to click it and then it shows you the aspects very, I don't think anyone else does that. So that's huge. And if you click it one more time, it's going to provide you even more information. So it's going to provide you information on, you know, the different, the sign, the changes between transits, like the different ingresses, the directions. It's also going to um, give you ecliptical, um, ecliptic information. Um, it's also going to give you information about aspects and if it's applying the aspects to other planets and if those planets are applying or separating from Jupiter and when is it perfect, like all that type of information. So it's very useful. And then you just click this to release it. Cool thing also is as you, if you click this and you say that you wanted to, um, you know, progress the time. So this is how you would progress the time. You, and you've clicked and selected Jupiter and you want to see what Jupiter is doing and how it's aspecting other planets over the next few months, like you could just click it and it'll stay. And as you can see, the aspects will change. Um, and so it's worth, you know, I think that's really cool too, because you can progress it if you're trying to follow a specific planet. You can do by wheels for charts, um, different um, charts. So you would look up a chart and you can do a bi wheel with the transits and the natal chart. Natal chart. Really quickly, let me show you how you would change the aspects. We go over to settings and you would go 
to aspect section and that's where you can select all of the aspects you want to use so if you're like a no vial girly and you're like yeah i use no vials like of course i use no vials then you would select no vial and then you would put your orb so you're applying and separating orb boom we'll come back to the settings section in a bit so we're gonna go i'm gonna click on this chart section and you can so this i'm doing the public the public charts because i'm not trying to out anybody that i have their charts so i'm gonna use a public chart section but the thing about the public charts it's you know my ch the charts that i have over here it looks the same like this is the same setup you it's you can filter by sign zodiac sign now it is sun sign the fact that you can click um you know virgo see who has virgo sun and you can kind of explore people that way and i think that's really interesting too because you're like oh wow that's very interesting amy winehouse was a virgo you know um you also have these chart types you can go you can search through but then you can also search by tags and so every single person you put into your chart you could create a tag for them so you could create your own like if you're trying to do research and say okay this person has is a part of this group of charts that have x y x situation or x characteristic you can tag them so in this case say that i'm trying to find a singer and i'm going to find a singer here <clears throat> and okay we have a leah perfect <laughs> so we're going to select leah as my chart um let me make sure that i'm still recording because i was not recording last time when i did this and so her chart is you know they have the great the rating the rotten rating rating here so that's really nice so it seems like a conflicting time it's not the best time good to know and um yeah you can do transits over this <clears throat> i I decided to look for another person because I was highlighting a certain feature that I think wouldn't work for someone who is passed on. So we're going to do basketball <clears throat> and we're going to select LeBron James. So his Rodden rating is an AA. So that's a really good one. That means that he has some type of birth certificate or birth record in hand that proves that he has a specific birth time. Okay. So that it is accurate. Um, so this is this chart. You could look at the transits in Dubai wheels. You could also compare his chart to other people and do synastry charts. You can also set up a midpoint chart as well off of that synastry chart. So, but here we have a transit chart. And um, if you, I was trying to understand something, right? Like maybe I'm looking at his son and I'm trying to see what, tra how the transits are affecting his, his, his son i'm going to i can click that and so <clears throat> the hard the solid lines aspect lines are to his natal and these dots are um aspect lines to the transit like it just is a very helpful marker another feature i love about uh, luna is the infographics so the infographics are really nice um basically it does high level summaries of these charts obviously it's not going to replace a proper reading but as someone who's an astrologer i mean I, I look at this i look at this i just glance at it i'm like oh okay good to know and it's i literally look at it like this anything sticks out to me okay cool good to know um and I just move on. So they have big three, they have lunar phase, they have, um, again, the elemental and mod modal distribution or percentages. Um, they have, okay, does this person mainly have squares? You know, what's, what does it look like? Um, it's the overall energy, trine energy in their chart. So this is a cute, I love, I actually really like this chart. <clears throat> Some aspects, um, declination map. Yeah, all that distribution i mean look at that like it highlights when you highlight or hover over the hemisphere it shows you all the planets that are in that hemisphere so it's just ugh, love it you can do the same thing with the transits too as well they have this matrix as well if you need this So now we're back to the chart 
And I'm going to show you another feature. You can write notes. So when I thought I was recording this before, I made different notes. You can make different notes, different times, save them. You can mark them as shareable or unshareable. In this video or this episode, this, uh, these are all private um, ones, which means that you can't share them and put them on their chart. So I'll show you how this works. So I'm gonna make a shareable version, a note that's shareable. So. Uh, G-H-I is my note for this person. I'm going to say first say that it's shareable and then I'm going to save it. And so now it's a savable, a shareable um, um, note. And I love how they keep the private ones on one side and then the shareable ones on the other side. So you don't end up putting like a note that you put for yourself. I tend to, you know, uh, and you end up sharing that with your client. I tend to use these as like doctor's notes <laughs> where I keep track of the things that they say and also make my own notes in preparation for my readings with them. So um, I use these quite a bit, this function quite a bit. And so when you're ready, before I meet a client, I actually will send them their chart though um, and I'll share it with them. So you can send an email and you put your either email in, you put a nice little note and you send it off and they get their, their, their chart. So I'll show you what they see. So in a case that I would send off a chart with their notes, this is what it would look like. <clears throat> so this is the chart that would be sent. So this is what they would receive. Um, so LeBron James would receive uh, a chart for me looking like this with the symbol keys as well as his GHI <laughs> notes. So that's how that looks and that's how it works. And they would receive this. Um, a few more features and I think I'm gonna wrap up. Um, they do have a cool function, um, solar ingress function and as well as lunar cycles. Um, and you, in, in, if you do this, um, it will become a chart so you can actually use this up against an actual chart of a person so you can track the ingresses for these seasons um the season change seasonal changes and apply it and use it in your analysis of a person's chart so that's very useful so here's another chart i did not show you a few other feature features they do provide um secondary progressions uh, solar arcs um, and returns as well so all the planetary returns so if you're trying to like time things and, and figure out the cycles of things and like you know plan around those you can do that and the relocation chart you can um, you can you can set you can set it to be a relocation chart um, based off of a new location they also have an ephemeris and that's you know have all these functions here and it's very nice another thing i wanted to show you okay and then we're gonna go so also something else if you are looking to change up the vibe on your this this whole experience you can change your chart to be night mode <laughs> And I really love it because sometimes it just works with my aesthetic. Sometimes if I'm going for something a little bit darker, it really does. I, I enjoy it. So, and let me go into the settings really quickly. So some of the preferences that they do have include, um, or some of the settings that you can change include obviously the, the day and night features. They have a monochrome slash full color mode. They have this, which is great for cusps. So if you are working in a Placidus chart or some other chart that's not whole signs or e equal house sign or equal house system, um, this is a nice way to figure out how to track things and eyeball um, the cusps. It can be really confusing when you're first starting, like, ah, where's the cusp? Ah, you know, is this the whole sign? Like, you just kind of get a little confused and this kind of helps you navigate that. And they give you a few options. This also helps with like the, um, the chart points. So how do you want to see that? Do you want them to, you know, how do you want to see them? Do you want the connectors? Do you not want the connectors? 
And then auto scaling. So how are they grouped together? So, um, and that's an option. Aspects, when you're a new astrologer, I mean, aspects are just one other problem to have. So you've got 99 other astrological problems and aspects should not be one when you're in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning of your journey, you know? So things to think about, right? house system these are their house systems i believe it's nine house systems um and i'm sure they're developing more um but yeah 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 i think that's it for this demo so comment down below what are some features you're excited to use are you gonna use it are you a newer uh, astrologer or are you like a more seasoned astrologer and you're looking for new software like what where you where are you at and do you think you would use something like this um comment down below let me know how you feel about this demo um i appreciate any type of feedback and make sure to like and subscribe too um until next time bye